folks, I hope you're well. This was a Patreon vote over at Patreon. All these lovely people won it. Now, a couple of things to run through. Tuning first. I'm in standard tuning, right? But I'm using my drop pedal, which is on setting four, which goes down two whole steps. So you get... So it really starts to get growly, okay? Um, if you've got a guitar that can handle it, you need to tune your whole guitar down two um, steps, okay, or four frets. Now, tone-wise, the intro is really cool because it's um, it sounds a bit like this. And it's kind of um, a bit lo-fi, right? But the main riff is then... It's got that sort of slightly cocked warish going on as well, right? So what I thought I'd show you is how I would play along with the with the record, right? And I've gone for this, bit unusual, but the main tone is the Walrus Audio Eons. I'm digging this pedal loads, it's great. <laughs> gets that growl doesn't it but for the intro after that pedal i've got my hampstead odyssey with all of the tone and the bass and the treble right the way down and the volume reduced as well right so it's kind of acts as a bit of a limiter so this is the walrus audio pedal and if i put the odyssey on so i start with both pedals on And when it comes to um, the whole band coming in, I just turn the Odyssey off. So that's how I've approached it anyway. Let's crack on with the first riff. Gonna play that round, okay? So you've got five, seven, or you could play it up here, 10, 12. I've seen Josh Homme playing everything around here, so I would go with that if you can, but just bear in mind you are going to need to mute the um, the low string when you play the 5-7 uh, part, okay? Otherwise you'll get... You know, it'll just disappear into nothingness, right? So you need to kind of hit the low E with the, with your, your palm to deaden that down, okay? But anyway, comes in on the four and, so you got one, two, three, four. So that is the first beat of the phrase, okay? Let me clean it up so you can hear it really clearly, right? So you've got... So after the seventh fret you play, all on the low E or whatever it's tuned to now, and you play five, so. Okay, that one holds out for two eighth notes, and then you play five again. Okay, so it's two phrases of five. Then you play two more. And then five on the D or 10th fret. However you want to play it, right? That's the intro riff. And then there's this little fill. You play two times round and then the third time it's... And then the rest of the band comes in there, okay? So that um, little fill comes in on the second beat. So it's... Um, Okay, seven, five, seven, seven on the next string up. So I'm flattening my finger there. And then the whole band's in there, right? Play that round um, for the whole uh, verse. Uh, forget now, maybe eight times, I think. But then, um, going into the chorus, you're going to play... You 
you play uh, in the second bar of that phrase, right? You play four. And then you go to these power chords, which are gonna be five, 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 three. Okay, that one hangs over and then you're into eighth notes. back into that okay the only bit to really um notice there is uh coming out of it it sounds a little bit jarring but it isn't it's all four four there's no like, extra beats or anything but you're going to play on the um four and you go to that again so the last time around the chorus would be and then you're back in okay some cool overdubs over the top as well, so you'll get. You'll get that the first time. So it's, uh, that's coming in on the three and. So one, two, three. Pretty straightforward, it's just, you know, five and seven. And then it's all kind of pentatonic stuff, this. And then uh, you rest for a bar. And then the second phrase goes, two, three, four, one. <laughs> Like that right so you've got full step bend so full step bend on the 10th fret to the 8th fret and let that ring out okay second verse let me do that clean goes around four times and then uh, it, oh you do the fill again the same right the way through then you've got a couple more overdubs in situ it goes pretty cool isn't it so you play one two three and then again that's you know pretty straightforward stuff and then the next one's really cool it's just some slides again it's pentatonic But you're going to do it with some slides and it comes in on the three and again so it's one two three okay pretty cool isn't it we do it without any distortion so you've got so 12 to 14 12 to 14 12 to 14 on the next trigger that's just one one pick there it's all slides and then you're back up here. Use my second finger to go down from the 15th to the 12th. Okay. Then we're into the middle eight basically um, and the two guitar parts veer off and harmonize with each other. So the first guitar part does this. round like that right so you have then you're gonna do let me clean it up again five seven five seven five seven five seven from the D string down so you change the string down each time right and then you do three five It's really cool, isn't it? So that um, goes around four times in total, and then it'll come out of it with. Then you change to this. You're going to play seven nine this time, right? So you're playing the fifth, right, above what you were playing before. So it's seven to nine. Same again. And then five, seven. So that's played around three times and then you play. And you 
back into the chorus, okay? So let me play the last part, Ryan. You've got... Now, guitar two, meanwhile, is playing this. So guitar two plays that twice, right? That, that fill twice, okay? Then you move straight up to this part. And you play that once and then you play this little fill. And then you mix it up again. So the fill is... So seventh fret on the third string. And that's a full step bend that you release um, into the next bar. Then you're going to do this. Okay, so let's wind back a little bit. We're going 9 to 11 here. 11 to 13. So I'm using my first finger and then I'm flattening it, right? So I can do the next one. You could use your first and second if you wanted there. But easy enough to just use your first finger. Again. Then we go back down to this. And then we've got this fill that comes in straight after that with. Okay, so that would be. Really cool, it's just a full step bend and release, and then you do a hammer on, and then you play the eighth fret again, and then you're going to go around again, and then for the very ending, we have this one guitar plays that, and the other one plays. And that's it. That's per tab. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.